We all know a trip to the dump can be a smelly job, but one community is living it every single day and they want it changed. Every night, every morning, we're having to tolerate, you know, the, 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 just this overpowering smell. But we're fed up with this. There's something in the air in this neighbourhood. <coughs> and residents are fed up. What do we want? Stop the stink! What do we want it? Now! These Ipswich locals we west of Brisbane are protesting along with Ippy the Ibis for a basic human right, fresh air. They say they've reached breaking point over a constant stench wafting into their homes. It's claimed the culprit is this mammoth landfill operated by rubbish giant CleanAway. People are waking up with migraines, they're waking up with uh, irritation to their, um, their faces, their respiratory system. People are getting no sleep. Jim Dodrell from community group Irate. It appears that there's some sort of problem with the dump. Uh, we believe that it's just too big and it's too unmanageable. Local David Tresize has an environmental management background and has voiced his concerns for years. They're pumping the contaminant water out back to the top of the dump and letting it go back through to be recharged again. It's wretched, it's wretched. So what you can smell and, and you don't know the impact uh, on you at all. So it's just not fair. We're pushing every button we can. Uh, this year we spent $8 million uh, in legal fees taking three, wa three waste operators to court. They wish to expand their landfill even bigger than it is now. So where is the local government are doing everything that we can? Ipswich Mayor Theresa Harding says her council is all for recycling but doesn't want any more landfill, whether it be an extension of current sites or new ones. Currently, most of the dumps in the area are privately managed for commercial operations, with only two managed by council for residents to use. All are approved by the state government. Waste operators are not following the law. The state government finally back in 2018 set up the odour abatement task force. Since then there have been over 13,000 complaints. A minor issue, this is a big community issue. A formal investigation by Queensland's environmental regulator started in recent days, but residents here say they're not holding their breath. Currently Ipswich takes in 43% of Queensland's waste. There's currently six private dumps and landfill sites across the region, including Ramondas, Landtrack and Veolia. There's also four new or expanded sites planned, including CleanAway, according to Council. Tracy Butler and husband Gary live just 11 kilometres from the CleanAway dump. We get woken up early hours of the morning and we actually feel like vomiting. Tracy says most days and nights they're copying putrid smells throughout their home. Quick, close the windows. The smell's around. Forcing them to lock up, a difficult task for Tracy, who was forced into a wheelchair following a car crash. The scented candles are always on standby, but the butlers say it's far from enough. Their clothes are rewashed constantly. Playtime for granddaughter Allegra is typically cut short when the stench rolls in. Fetch for Buster and Bruiser, a rare treat. Your throat burns, you start coughing, and you dry reach, and you really are so close to vomiting. Tracy says despite some speculation, the smell has been hanging over their heads well before the recent floods. Well, we've been putting in these complaints over three years. It's still around and it's still happening and sometimes, depends on the day, if we have the smell blowing our way, it is so bad. Some residents are taking the dump fight all the way here to the Supreme Court. A group of six are calling for a judicial review into the decision made by Queensland Deputy Premier Stephen Miles and his use of ministerial powers to review Ipswich City Council's rejection of another landfill in the area. This is not good enough. People shouldn't have to tolerate this kind of behaviour from the waste industry and from the state government. The people they elected to protect them and to, and to do the things that are in the interests of the community. In a statement to a current affair, a CleanAway spokesperson says... A number of solutions have been identified and CleanAway is implementing them as a priority. These include the installation of several large-scale deodorisers, aerating and dousing the body of water. But this community is vowing to fight on for what they think is a basic right, clean air. What do we want? Stop the stink! When do we want it? Now! I'd like fresh air, and fresh air is supposed to be free. 
but to the residents out here, no, it's not free at all.